Hi everybody, Patrick here from paintballprops.com, electroniclessons.com, and engineeringshock.com. Today I wanted to show you uh, our new target practice set. Uh, there can be, uh, I can customize this further, I can make it so that there are more targets, I can make it so that there are teams. Uh, there are a lot of customization options, but this is the basic set. Um, I'll show you the sensor boards in just a minute. Here is the main board. I have got eight sensors connected by via eight 1.5 meter US, USB cables. I've got one USB cable connected to a wireless receiver for uh, communication to the game mat between the game master and the board. This is your timer board. This unit comes with an AC to DC power adapter that connects to this power terminal block. I'm currently using my uh, benchtop power supply to power the board. It also comes with a stereo cable that connects to your uh, uh, your audio system, so uh, your uh, your boombox, your Bose player, your set of computer speakers, because this set communicates with you. Uh, it's a very basic set. This is one of the sensors right here. I'll give you a close-up of everything before I give you a demonstration. This is the wireless key fob. So let's get a close look at everything, and I'll give you a demonstration. This is the main board. It comes fully assembled. Um, this is the stereo connector, your power supply connector. Uh, you can use nine uh, sensor cables if you'd like. This one is not being used currently. This is connected to my uh, wireless wireless uh, receiver. Uh, it, the removal and addition of sensor boards is inconsequential. You can remove them on the fly, you can add them on the fly, it doesn't matter. Um, and uh, so let's have a look, quick look at the timer board. The timer board has mounting holes uh, one on each corner. Uh, the main board also has mounting holes on each corner. I forgot to mention that. Uh, and it plugs in via a removable cable on the back so you can mount it without having to worry about anything cosmetic. Uh, it's very simple. I can also make it make this unit so that you can program in uh, a game time preferred, but the current version you uh, start the game and you reset the game wirelessly. The wireless receiver simply connects to the main board on the upper right USB connector. And uh, as you can see, it plugs in via a uh, four wire cable. Only three of those wires are used. This is one of the sensor boards. The USB cable plugs into the male USB connector right there. You can remove it, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is the key fob. We're only going to be using the A button for this. Uh, if you want to go long distances past 25 meters, you just have to extend the antenna. But more, most of the time, under 25 meters, you can have the antenna uh, placed as far down into the module as possible. Also, there is a key cover. This is the, one of the sensor boards as previously mentioned. There are four mounting holes on each sensor board and this is a little piezo sensor. As you can see, uh, I'm hitting it. I can, uh, I can adjust sensitivity, so if you're using uh, very, very light uh, weight projectiles, I can make the sensitivity for these uh, modules uh, very sensitive. If you're using paintballs, uh, I can make it very, uh, uh, I can turn the sensitivity way down. And as you can see, there's a little piezoelectric sensor that is taped currently to my uh, table. It's non-conductive. That's what you want, a non-conductive surface. And you can use epoxy, you can use hot glue. I'm literally just using uh, packing tape to currently hold this down. So, I've got this calibrated quite nicely. So let's look at the other sensor boards. As you can see, I've got the remaining seven sensor boards uh, just taped to the ground right now because I don't have any targets to connect them to. But each of these are on their own individual 1.5 meter um, uh, USB cable. You can also extend these out further if you have uh, extremely long male to female USB cables of your own. Uh, the length does not matter anyway. So let's have a quick demonstration. Okay, time for a demonstration. Uh, when I press the A button, the unit will say, get ready for some target practice. Um, three, two, one, go. And after that point, whenever I press the A button again, the game is over. So let's, uh, let's, let's get, do that right now. Get ready for some target practice. Three, two, one, go. Now again, I can customize the sensitivity of these uh, sensor boards to your liking. Uh, if you're using a paint, uh, if you're using paintball or airsoft, you'll want lower sensitivity. If you want, if you're using a lightweight projectile, you'll want to use uh, have a uh, a higher sensitivity unit, and I can customize for that. So let me just start tapping away. So there are three different sound bites that'll play that'll play randomly. 
Uh, again, you'll see that I'm tapping, I'm hitting this her target faster than the sound bites can play, and that's because I can't just have uh, a sound bite stop in the middle and play again because then it'll sound choppy and, and gross. So uh, this is a, a nice compromise. So if I tap once, sound bites done. So if you've got targets that are far away and harder to hit, that's not going to be a problem. But if you have targets that are easier to hit and are being hit very, very fast, So those sound bites bites will play randomly. Uh, if I go and hit any of my other targets, it doesn't matter. I'm hitting all the different targets down here. I don't have the other uh, piezo elements taped to the floor, so uh, I missed a couple there, but uh, it works very well and it's very accurate. And again, the sensitivity can be customized to your needs. Uh, I, uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, or if you own a, an entertainment center, an airsoft arena, a paintball arena, and you want to add uh, target practice into your, uh, uh, in, into your facility, please don't hesitate to contact us at paintballprofs.com or engineeringshock.com. I can make, uh, customize this heavily. I can make it so that there are two teams. Uh, that's a lot more work, but I can do it. I can uh, basically have two of these boards communicating with each other. Uh, and I can, uh, I can even add in potentially uh, this isn't as easy, but I can add in uh, another timer. Uh, I'd have to work some magic, but it is possible. Um, I would just have to use one of the USB cables to be communicating back and forth with the game timer. And the game timer could be, could be uh, talked to wirelessly. So it's very, very simple. So I want the game to be over. I'm going to press A. Game over. Thank you for playing. So that's it. Game over. Thanks for thank you for playing. And the final score uh, will read on the uh, on the display. It'll flash five times, and then the game will reset. And I can start the game at any time. Get ready for some target practice. Three, two, one, go. And I can end the game at any time. Game over. Thank you for playing. And once the game's over, it doesn't matter if I hit the sensors because it's not counting anymore. It flashes five times, game resets. It's extremely easy to put together, very easy to put together. It comes with everything you need. Everything's fully assembled. You just need to plug, plug and play. Mount your, uh, your sensor boards, and uh, you're off to the races. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you liked this video. Um, take care, and have a great weekend.